Hey, 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 family. It's your girl, Evelyn of the EvelynInc.com. And I'm back with another video. And this video I am specifically doing because recently on one of the live streams that God's Design, aka Patricia, here on YouTube and I did uh, in our live stream, um, someone asked me a question about femininity. And they asked me, like, what books or things have I done to work on my femininity to reclaim my femininity however you want to phrase it and so i kind of walk them through some people that i've either worked with directly or in one of their courses and programs and in this video i want to walk through some of the books that have tremendously helped me with my femininity so i have uh, i have a few i don't have all of them here because some of them were on um audible but I have four of them here with me that I think if you're a woman um, looking to really get to understand femininity past this whole messaging about it just being about beauty. Beauty is important. Beauty is important. It is a tool in our toolbox that God has given us as women um, to leverage. However, a lot of people that I see who are trying to jump in the femininity space right now are only talking about like the look of femininity and it's not a one size fits all but I think these books will be very helpful and then I also have one suggestion of a book that I have not read but I want to read that I think will also be helpful so um the first book I want to talk about is The Power of Femininity so this book is by Michelle McKinney Hammond and I'm not gonna lie I, I for years you know I grew up in the 90s I've heard about Michelle McKinney Hammond um, if you're in the faith space and was I was always a little like mm, uh, about her I'm not even gonna front I don't know why nothing personal I just was um, until somebody recommended this to me and they told me to get the the old version so this is the old version I think she has an updated version of this book and um, I read this last year or the year before and it's really really good now this book a, uh, a lot of it focuses on um, interpersonal relationships with men but there's still so much to glean from this so it's it's really really good so that's the first book now the second book kind of keeping in the vein is called calling in the one now let me tell you what's interesting about this book um don't let the title turn you off. This is like <laughs> this is like therapy in a book. So even if you're already um, dating or in a relationship, it's it's really really helpful. So um, it's more like a course in a book because there's assignments at the end of every chapter, and um, it's really really good. And so I kind of did. I think there's I think it's seven weeks worth. So like forty nine days. So I read like a section a day and did the assignments. And I'm telling you. It was very eye-opening, very life-changing. Now, I will say this with some of these books. there Some of them are a little woo-woo, meaning as a believer, if you can get past like universe and all that kind of stuff, if you can eat the meat and spit out the bones, then do that. If that doesn't bother you, girl, have at it, okay? Um, the next book, which I'm excited to read, is the Feminine Success book by Yaya Smith, but I have taken her courses. I have worked with her one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I also designed the interior of this book. So, um, but if you have not worked with her, if you do not know who she is, um, this is a great way to get started. Um, and this is more about using femininity in multiple areas of your life, not just in your rela in your romantic relationships, but your relationships with men in general, whether it's your father, your brother, a cousin, a boss, a coworker, in your home, in your business, in your life with other women. This is really, really powerful in that way. Um, she's fantastic. The next book, which I just finished, and girl, listen, I have been following this particular woman on social media for years. I mean, and I've never signed up for one of her programs because I, I did I really didn't fit the business model that she um that she coaches on. Um, but the audacity to be queen. I just finished this book. As you can see, there's still tabs in it. It got me together. So this is about it's a mix it's it's definitely about femininity for sure but it's about femininity 
overall and then she dips into femininity as relates to your finances femininity as relates to your relationships with other women um to your business to the way you function in life to how you make decisions um obviously romantically and um it's a great read there's also assignments not in every chapter but there's assignments that if you do the work um it's a game changer but i've been following her work for years and again this is what the one specifically that i was talking about like if you can get past the universe and infinite intelligence and the divine and all that and and really get to the meat of what she's talking about it is a game changer now on to the audiobooks that i have read the first one would be the power of vulnerability by brene brown and the reason why it's not in book form is because it's actually an audio of, I think, like a weekend or a several day conference that she did somewhere. And they recorded all the audios. It's about six hours long. But girl, like it needs to be transcribed and put into a book because it is so good at the essence of femininity is a vulnerability. And I think, um, I mean, it has been crazy helpful. Um, I've listened to it more than once as as you will need to do. I think also um, The Confidence Code, I listened to that years ago. And it's not as feminine focused, femininity focused as the rest of these. I don't even think they use it as that. But I know that a large part of being a feminine woman is about having confidence. And so this confidence code is more so about having confidence in the workplace. But I still think it's really, really helpful. Um, I think if you are someone who you may have not had a great father or maybe your father was absent or maybe your father passed away at an early age or um, maybe your parents were divorced and your father was in your life but you didn't have that day-to-day -day interaction the fatherless daughter project is a fantastic fantastic book so my parents divorced when I was in high school and then my father died right after I graduated from college. And so a lot of things we hadn't ju we just hadn't got to yet. And what that book showed me is that whether your father was a workaholic, whether he was just emotionally distant, whether he was not in the home, whether he passed away, whether he was incarcerated in jail, substance abuse, um, just wasn't here for that, wanted you to be a boy, whatever the case may be, inconsistently in and out of the business or just not emotionally available that that book walks you through like how that has affected you as a woman and I don't even think they use the term femininity but what I can tell you about that book is it showed me why I was overly masculine in certain areas like when you understand femininity you understand that both men and women have femininity and masculinity but it's 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 the proportion right and so um so sometimes when we lack that masculine support for whatever reason we can have the tendency to overcompensate for that. So that's called the Fatherless Daughter Project. So Fatherless Daughter Project, The Confidence Code, and The Power of Vulnerability by Brene Brown. Not her 15-minute YouTube TED Talk. I'm talking about a six-hour audio on Audible. And I'll see if I can leave links to all that below. Now, as far as people that I've listened to on YouTube or, or social media, obviously, um, Yaya Smith, The Feminine Success, she does live streams, she has coaching programs, they are an investment. So you need to make sure that you are a woman who is ready to do the work because it's work. And, but you, you will not be the same. You will not be the same. Um, Ashley Empowers um, talks a lot about godly relationships and femininity in that way. She has a YouTube channel. She's also on Instagram. I've taken a couple of her programs. I think I actually have do I have her book? I think so. But I haven't read it. Oh, I have it. Dating with Purpose. Um, I have not read it, but I have it. Um, so Ashley Empowers. Um, Monique Head here on YouTube talks a lot about feminine allure. And it's also a lot about interpersonal relationships. Um, and then Life Coach Sean. So Life Coach Sean does Strawberry Letters on her channel, but she's also written three books. I have her book. Where is it? I have The Data Game, How to Find Yourself While Looking for Mr. Right. 
I have this book and she has another book called Breaking the Man Code, The Key to Unlocking His Heart, which is like on my next up list. So the two books that are on my next up reading list that I don't currently own are the Breaking the Man Code, The Key to Unlocking His Heart and The Power and Purpose of Women by Dr. Miles Monroe. So I'm going to read this next um, just because even though I've coached with her and I've taken her programs or whatever, it's like I, it's something about it being in a book. Like, mm. so, <laughs> um, so that's up next. Then the next two are going to be the power and purpose of woman by Dr. Miles Monroe and, uh, breaking the man code, the key to unlocking his heart by life coach, Sean, who is on YouTube and on Instagram. And she does life and dating coaching as well. So check her out there. I'll try to leave links to all of this below the books and all that kind of stuff. And so in the community that I'm almost done developing, which I'm super, super excited about, I we will be discussing some of these books and a couple of other things that for this category. And um, I'll even be trying to see if I can get people, some guest speakers to come in who are more experts in this area than I am. Obviously, I am not a femininity expert. I am a femininity student. And a woman who has healed that wound. So, um, but but I had to have assistance. I had to have women in my life guide me. I had to pay them <laughs> uh, to get the kind of support that I needed. And I have no shame about it. So whether it was through their books or their programs or a combination of both, that's what I've done. So I don't remember who asked me this question, but if it was you, I hope that this helps. I hope that this is this will get you started on what has been an amazing journey for myself. And um, that's it. So I will see you in the next video. Peace.